had to switch the video over to HD because I think my quality was really not up to par. So sorry about the last few videos, but hopefully this one looks better. Um, I have shuffled for the Sagittarius Collective, and it seems like you guys have got a lot of positivity going on, a lot of success in finances. Um, you did take a little bit of a healing break. <sighs> Ancestors, guides, Holy Spirit, please cover us in this reading as we get the message that our Sagittarius Collective needs to hear. Not the one they want to hear, the one they need to hear. We ask that you cover us in the white light of protection as we go through this reading and that we understand and interpret the messages as each one of us needs to receive them. We thank you right now that we return all negative energy to the sender and we are all divinely protected from evil eye and harm. So thank you, Lord. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. Let's get the Sagittarius reading started. Welcome, Sagittarius. We did do some shuffling, as I mentioned. It looks good so far, but let's see what the cards have to say now. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My Saggy babies are doing good in the finances, but I feel like you're a little bit toxic on the love side of things. I feel like you've got a lot to prove, Sagittarius. So, bottom of the deck, Four of Swords. You took some time, or you need to take some time to rest from a situation that has you money on your mind. So, I feel like right now, you're trying to shit on somebody. So, Sagittarius, you're in this full energy. You're like, whatever, I'm going with the flow. I'm going to go out on dates. I'm not really trying to find love right now because I'm in my bag. But, you know, I'll entertain you a little bit. And I kind of feel like you might be someone who's attractive or someone that draws people in. But I feel like at the same time, you're a little bit of a bitch right now. And I hate to say it like that. So, I do apologize for the cuss words. I probably shouldn't do that. Um but that's the energy so here we go all right um i feel like you are trying to release the toxicity i feel like you do understand that you could be a little bit nicer of a person to some people and i just feel like right now it's more of a defense mechanism than it is you just being a nasty person i feel like maybe the people who have come towards you are really not the right fit so you come off a little bit arrogant to some people who are trying to love you. But it's because of the fact that you just got out of something and you're like, mm -mm, that's too much like the past. Can't do it. <laughs> Not interested. <laughs> Try the next girl with that mess or guy. If you are a female or male, it, it doesn't have any gender here. So, um... Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just say that you're you're good. You're good, babes. You kind of seem a little bit mm, about love, but at the same time, uh, you're about done with your healing journey, and you're really trying to uh, get out of the stagnancy that you've been in, and I feel like you're doing a little bit of back and forth on your manifesting. So if you are in a better place most of the time, you're positively manifesting, but then you get into that funky energy and you're like backpedaling on that same manifestation. So you kind of have your foot on the gas and the brake and you're doing this. So I need you to get your foot off the brake, step on the gas, baby. It's time for you to move forward. And I do see you moving forward. I do see you having financial abundance. I do see you having, you know, um, lots of self love. And I, I feel like with that self-love, you're going to be drawing in your forever partner. But, um, you know, there's that tendency to be looking at the past and, you know, um, and I feel like you've kind of gotten over it, as I mentioned, but every once in a while, it rears its head. So I don't know if you're still dealing with this person and when they call you, you feel nostalgic, but... I feel like, you know, the sooner that you kind of like draw the line on that energetically, um, the better off you'll be. So if it's a done deal, let's let it be a done deal because we do have 10 of cups. That's, uh, you know, you finding that person that fills you up, 
that pours into you emotionally, that makes you feel complete. And I, I feel like it's going to be a done deal. The chariot is here in reverse. Um, now, sometimes that could talk about, you know, some stalling. But I feel like in your case, this is going to be you making a decision, okay? Uh, you need to have some self-discipline on where you're drawing the line with this person because it's like you kind of go back and forth again with that put on the gas put on the brake you don't want to be in that type of energy or you're not going to be able to grow so what's our advice for this chariot reverse it's time for you to take a new path friend it's time for you to hop onto that new journey don't be afraid look they got the wheel in their hand you got to you got to take control of that thing. You got to say which path you're going on and mash on the gas, okay? So, I mean, some of you, you might want to be trying to deal with this old person, but I feel like you know they're toxic and you want to release it. Look, devil card reverse. You know, this person has definitely been putting you in a little bit of a a funky energy, but as you release that devil energy, you come into emotional fulfillment on your own. So you're in charge of that. You are the yay and the nay in your own life. And you have to understand, you're sitting here writing your story. And then I went back to them. And then I was stuck again. And then I got tired of their crap. And I hit the gas on my path. And then I did well until they called me. And then I went back and back and forth and back and forth. So you are the author of your life. What are you doing? Take control. Grab that wheel. Pick a path. And here you will arrive. Ten of Cups. So, Saggy baby. Saggy, Saggy. Why does Saggy keep going back and forth? What is it? What is it? Because this person can get up in your head. This person can make you feel guilty. This person can make you feel like Oh, this is, but this was your fault. I wouldn't be like this if it wasn't for you. You know, it's, it seems like a, a little bit of a narcissist uh, that you've been dealing with, Sagittarius. Someone that is able to get in your head and play victim with you. And I feel like you know who this is because I just saw the High Priestess card. You know who this is and you know what they do and you know how they do it and you're a sucker for love every time. Because in a way, I want I want to say that you are easily, it's easy for someone to make you feel like it's your fault. Because I think deep down, you do take a, a great sense of responsibility for everything that you've done. But is this person just as accountable as you? Are they like, you know what, that was my bad and I did this and I did that to you and I was wrong for that. Are they taking accountability for their part? Or is it every time they flip it on you, oh, it's all your fault. And you're like, yeah, you know, I probably should have did better. Well, let me entertain you because you're right. I'm I'm, a, I'm the messed up person. <clears throat> I'm not saying you're perfect, but I am saying, are they taking part and their part of the negative aspect of this relationship? I feel like, you know what? This person is able to get to you. One, romantically, maybe the passion is there. And it's like when y'all are, mm, 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 it's good. And it's so good. And y'all will be cool. But they'll be watching your stuff online. So who was that? And who was that person that you were talking to? And like nitpicking things apart in your life. I feel like if you have any type of online presence, you know, they're like, oh, I see you added a new friend. Yeah, I'm networking. Calm down. And I feel like, you know, it can go both ways where there's this up and down and this yo-yo. So get off the brake and the gas, my friend. Pick a path. Take control of the wheel. <clears throat> Mash on the gas. Get somewhere because right now. You're allowing too much to go in here that's affecting here and stalling all of life for you. So, uh, Sagittarius, release the toxic toxicity, love, so that your manifestations can come forth. Right now, we're like this. We, we're visioning. We're not visioning. You're not seeing another path because you're like this. 
this person keeps you, they keep offering love, but they keep disappointing you. <clears throat> no relationship is perfect, friends. I, I can tell you, you know, there's going to be a lot of days when you're in a relationship that it's going to take both of you, though, to be able to fix things. It has to be a two-person effort. One person cannot always take the blame. And, you know, in we have to be accountable for what we do to other people. If I did this to you and you did this to me and then, uh, you know... You know, I'm the only horrible person. No, that's not true. People don't understand that their repeated bad behaviors oftentimes put us into a survival mode where we become them, a reflection of them just to survive the situation. So Sagittarius, don't, don't become them. Don't let them, you know, remove themselves from accountability. Um let's be grown-ups here. So I hope that that helps you. Happy 4th of July, Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. Love ya and um, see you next time.